Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. So first up, as ever, let's have a look at the two characters from this awesome Stormcast Eternals uh, army. Uh, great selection of miniatures through the Force, uh, two great HQs. We've got a Lord Arcanum and also a Knight in Cantor as well. Uh, so two lovely models to look at. Uh, let's start with the Lord Arcanum. Um, this whole project has been painted by Ryan, one of the artists here at Siege. Uh, he's done a phenomenal job on picking out all of the intricate details across the various models through this commission. Specifically on this Lord, on this Lord Arcanum as well, you've got the lovely glowing etheric energy here on his hand with a green tinge to it, which I think really complements this uh, this ready sort of uh, deep mauve as well which is lovely um, really pristine shining arm with a blue tinge to it which we'll see across the force as well um, but again massive massive cape with loads and loads of tonal variation added to it as well to really add narrative to it um, but all the gold work multiple highlighted through various stages of silver having a nice crisp, crisp highlighting done on it as well really cool basing as well across the force as well we've got this lovely kind of like um, sort of marshland tundra which is quite nice uh, again but all the gems and everything all the vials and all painted and highlighted through a couple of stages as well so that's just just the Lord Arcanum. Uh, next up we have the Knight in Cantor. Again, a really, really awesome model. You can see all the eyes and teeth and everything all fully painted on him. But also the same again, same consistency. The glass sort of vials as well. Got these all, like little tints and jinks in them as well, which is really cool. I love the little uh, rocks here that are just floating as he's using his power as well, which is really cool. But again, moving around, you can see the super pristine and clean finish that's on him. All the gems and everything all fully painted with multiple points of light source and highlighting done on those. Uh, but again, a lovely, lovely, pristine, super clean job on these guys. Uh, so that's just the uh, Night Encantor. So next up after the characters, we've got some of the infantry from the force and a nice selection of models. We've got three Secutors and also six Evocators on foot as well. So a really, really cool selection of miniatures. Let's start by having a look at some of the Evocators on foot. And uh, Ryan's done a stellar job of picking out all the little details on these awesome, awesome Age of Sigmar Stormcast Eternals models. Uh, loads of vibrant colorways used and all that cloth work as well, which is really, really lovely. Um, you've got all the metal work that's got multiple stages of highlighting. You've also got all the armored areas that have uh, the, from silver all the way to the brightest points on the gold as well which is really cool got this really cool dragon sort of power here as well which is uh, all sort of highlighted through various stages from a white to a dark blue which is lovely uh, glowing eyes on this lady as well which is really really cool uh, just extra little details like for example on the uh, armour have all been highlighted through various stages and all the little gems like for example on the scabbard are also done of the sword uh, but you can see all done to a very very pristine clean finish uh, so that's just one of the evocators pull forward a few of them so you can just have a look more awesome awesome miniatures with loads of detail uh, and loads of gems as well which have all been highlighted as you'll see across all the models but the same consistency from miniature to miniature so between these six you could easily mix these up into different squads if you wish if you wished um, just because we do maintain consistency through model to model which as you'll see through hopefully all of the images and uh, models in this force as well which is really lovely uh, so that's just another one of the evocators here um, we'll then just jump across and have a look at the other ones here as well which are really really lovely so just another evocator here with a very very good hairdo uh, but as you'll see fully sort of highlighted through all the different areas lovely plume on this one as well um, but again all the staff all the gold work highlighted multiple stages all the eyes and teeth and everything all fully painted as well uh, so that's just another one of the evocators um, pull forward some of the other ones from that unit as well you can see the vial and everything all done in a lovely tealy blue color to show the liquid inside as well which is really cool uh, so that's just another one of these awesome awesome evocators um, and then I will pull forward at the last one just so that you get to see all of them uh, but again an absolutely lovely miniature really pristine and super 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 clean as well just so you can see all the areas are fully painted uh, to a very very sublime finish uh, let's next have a look at the Secutors again some awesome models I do really love the pose of this lady as well she's awesome and uh, again you see that lovely flowing cape work there as well all highlighted through multiple stages and uh, very very clean and smooth as well which is really important uh, so that's just another one of these Secutors and let's pull forward the chap at the back with the amazing sideburns um, you've got here because see all the eyes and teeth and everything fully painted on him 
all the scroll work and all those other areas covered really nicely as well uh, and obviously the lovely rich and warm uh, sort of rear cloth uh, of the cape kind of thing which is really lovely so that's just him and then uh, we'll pull forward the other one of the secateurs again really really cool here lovely stoic pose and uh, the armor's got a lovely subtlety to it it's not super super vi uh, highlighted to high like loads of this looks very archaic as well which is really nice slight blue tinge to it as well which is really really cool in the recesses and darker portions uh, so that's just another one of the secu tours. And last up, to finish this awesome Age of Sigmar Stormcast Eternals Army Commission, we've got these awesome Evocators on Celestial Dracolines. Some great models, really aggressive steeds that they're riding, and uh, more Evocators to go with this four. So let's pull some of these four just so you can have a look. Uh, Ryan's done an absolutely incredible job on these, just to really bring these models to life. Lovely orange colour on these uh, on these Dracolines. Really, really cool. The blue complements really nicely to that orange. But you can see all the intricacies of the teeth, the hide, the little scale on the side all done the feet are all highlighted all the claws and everything all fully done um, and obviously that's before we talk about the, uh, the, the the riders obviously done the same to match the rest of the army that you've seen in the other sections of this video uh, super clean bluish tinge to the armor all the vials highlighted nicely with little jinx and, and things in the glass as well which is really cool with the individual with totems and things all picked out uh, this awesome sort of marshland kind of basin that's been done across the force as well but you can see each and every single one of those little bits of hide on the side are all highlighted and edged as well which is really lovely again and you've got all the, all the gold work with multiple stages of highlighting throughout. So that's just these awesome, awesome Draco lines. Um, we often get asked, you know, do we do Age of Sigmar commissions? Because a, a lot of our commissions are obviously 40k. But you guys can see, obviously, the quality of what we produce here on Age of Sigmar models as well. So if you are wondering about get taking out an Age of Sigmar commission, then hopefully this gives you a good idea of the quality we can execute on those models. Again, a lovely, lovely model here. Um, awesome, awesome colorway with that orange steed. And uh, the blue sort of toweling here as well. Love the little head crests on them as well, which I think is really, really cool. Obviously, you've got this Evocator Prime here, just obviously with his head crest as well, with the uh, all the extra details that come on him. But really, really awesome paint job that's been done on this, these miniatures. Uh, so this is just the Evocator Prime. Uh, have a look at another one at the Evocators. I'll run through all of them. There's only six, so I'll get them all forward so you can all see. But again, just can see the quality of all the highlighting done on that muscle work there. Uh, all this sort of lovely subtle tonal variation on the different areas of cloth, armor, and also the, uh, the hide of the animal as well which is really really cool uh the last three let's just work through you can see in a really aggressive leaping pose here um about to maul someone's face off undoubtedly um but really really awesome uh colorway the same consistency from miniature to miniature as well so you get a really good finish with all of these uh all these models in this force but again super super uh, highlighting done on all the cloth work that the other bits this is the other another one of the uh evocators here as you'll see and uh next one again another leaping pose here really gonna give someone a bad day but an awesome, awesome model with very dynamic with lots of uh, energy in the pose as well, which I really do like. And uh, a stellar paint job to match. Uh, so that's just another one. And then the final one, let's have a look again, just so you can see the consistency of all of these. Really, really awesome, awesome miniatures. Uh, absolutely a massive fan of the uh, Age of Sigmar game and also its miniatures. And this is a good example of why they are so good. Um, again, same highlighting done on all of the models, all the cloth work, armor, robes, everything, all highlighted through multiple stages. Every little detail fully picked out and painted as well as you'd expect with us here at Siege. And uh, yeah, a really, really pristine, lovely paint job on these miniatures. So thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.